Hello, I'm known as an artist called Cutie, and I'm here to teach a couple of keyboard shortcuts. If you have an Intuos 3 tablet, then it'll go for Intuos 2 as well. I'll pop up the Wacom properties, and as you can see on my screen, I have a couple of tablets already programmed here. I have one for home, and then I also have one for travel. The small one I use mainly for travel, and the large one, the Intuos 6x8, I use for work. As you can see, a lot of times uh, people will reach for their keyboard while trying to do artwork with the tablet. Personally, I'm not into this because it really disrupts my workflow. So the Intuos 3 have been like a great improvement for me, uh, stopping me from reaching for the keyboard while I'm in the middle of the drawing. One of the shortcuts I'll show in these tutorials are for Painter and Open Canvas. I do use other programs for drawing. I tend to use Open Canvas, Sci Paint, and Painter the most. As you can see on my window, I have a lot of those shortcuts there. I'm going to start this particular recording with uh, Open Canvas because there's a lot of shortcuts most people don't even know. As you can see, there's the Intuos pen there with uh, two shortcuts already programmed into the stylus dual switch. I can use a drop-down menu, which you'll see in a couple of moments. Uh, this one will allow you to select uh, tools such as the modifier, or you can use a keyboard shortcut. With the modifier, you can see four shortcut keys, Shift, Alt, Control, and Click. Uh, in Open Canvas, the particular tool that I'm using is the eyedrop tool. So as I open up Open Canvas, I'll use a really insanely high resolution. And um, I'll try to paint this canvas with red. And as you can see, I kind of did a small line, so I'll be working on a larger one. As I change the brush size to a little larger one, we can show you how the shift key works. So you can see there's a bit of red on the canvas. Now, instead of Alt, like you would in Painter and um, Photoshop, you'll use the shift key instead. And if I select a lighter color, go to white, darker color, of course, will be darker. The other tool I use for open canvas is the Control plus Alt key. This key is an on-the-fly brush resizing shortcut. If I drag this one up or down, you'll start noticing the brush size and the brush info palette will start getting larger, like so. And if I drag it up, it'll get smaller. This is really good shortcut, like if you want to cover larger areas with paint or digital paint, as we can say. And uh, dragging it smaller will create a smaller line, of course. Another handy tool in Open Canvas is the Alt tool or Rotate. Although in um, Painter and Photoshop, this is the color picker. In Open Canvas, this is the Rotation tool. This is a really, really good shortcut. I would really advise people to start getting used to it. And because I ran out of space on my stylus, as I can only program two buttons, I programmed it onto my tablet. Here it's on the default setting, but as I select the Open Canvas application, it'll change the function keys to that specific uh, application that I have it programmed for. As I said, in Open Canvas, I've used the Alt key in this case, and you can see as I switch it over there that I have specific functions. Alt's the biggest one I have, so I usually put that on the biggest key just so I remember. And as you can see, I can rotate the canvas by dragging my stylus around while using the Alt key. Now if I want to reorientate where I'm at, I just press the Alt key and I'm back to where I started. This is really good because artists complain often that they can't produce a curve correctly. And in traditional art, you just simply turn the paper. Well, in digital, you just simply turn the canvas. Some of my other sh shortcuts are the insert key, which is a uh, fill layer 
which you can use it to which you use it to fill a layer with a certain color. Oftentimes people are intimidated by a white canvas, so what I do is I fill it with maybe a neutral gray. Now if you hit the clear key, it'll clear out whatever shortcut was previously there. So in this case I have programmed insert. If you don't like insert, again hit the shortcut clear and it'll clear it out. And as you can see I renamed it to fill layer so I remember what I'm doing. The other tool I use is delete layer. That's a nice big clear button. That's a great one. And I also have undo. Who doesn't make mistakes? And you know, in the computer world, we have undo. We can't do that in our real lives, unfortunately. <laughs> one of the other things I also have is um, other pens for my tablet. Since I had two tablets at this time, I could actually switch any grip pen with another corresponding in 203 tablet. It's kind of awesome because like if you want to change your your grip pen to different functions, uh, you can do so. So in this one, I'm renaming my grip pen to remember that this grip pen actually belongs to my in 206 because it'll just name them to grip pen one and two. So in 206 by eight, that's what I named it to. So I remember it belongs to my bigger tablet. And I'll be bringing out the 6D art pen, but unfortunately, because uh, Open Canvas is a very limited program, it's not as fantastic to use the 6D art pen in Open Canvas as you would in, in something that's more advanced like Painter. And as it pops up, the tablet immediately recognizes that this is the 6D art pen, and I'm playing with the little pressure sense uh, settings here. Uh, the unfortunate side of the Intuos 3 line of the 60 art pen is, is there's no other buttons on there. It's just simply the, the nib and this really fat pen. And one of the things I notice is that the new Intuos 4 actually has a better improvement for the pen. There's supposedly a side switch and the eraser side, but it still retains the, the wedged uh, nib, which is kind of like a calligraphy pen. So I just brought in my Intuos 4. And I'm renaming this to the 4x6, so once again I'll remember. Now, as you can see, it just simply defaults to whatever the regular defaults are with the open canvas. So if I wanted to choose something like, uh, in this example, I decided to go with pressure hold. You could use the modifier too, or you know, a keystroke. But uh, pressure hold is an interesting one. Now, unfortunately, in this demo, it kind of backfired on me because I didn't realize the resources that Cam Studio was using at this time, and the response was rather delayed when I tried to paint on the canvas and try to demo this. But when you hold the pressure hold, at this particular amount of pressure that you applied when clicking that button, it'll retain that, that setting. So if you're only using 30% opacity, it'll stay at 30%. And, and it's really nice because, you know, sometimes you just want to lay a nice flat color and it, it can do that. Or you got the line at the right thickness that you wanted and holding that pressure hold will just keep it at the, the same thickness that you want it to. All right then, and thank you again for tuning in to my little open canvas tutorial, and I hope to do some more. Actually, I have already, and I plan to do actually some more Intuos ones as well as the Intuos 4 because I've recently uh, become an owner of that particular tablet line, and I found that there's even more function keys and shortcuts that you can program into this particular tablet. I will be working on some more painter tutorials as well as um, other programs that I use such as SciPaint and I wanted to thank you guys for tuning in and please come again. Thank you.